Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this figure, and then it is Star Wars Luke Skywalker from The Last Jedi, and this is by SH Figure Arts, and let's see, Tamashii Nation, Bandai. So there's the box, just a couple of pictures of uh, Luke, and on the back it has a couple of more pictures, so let's get the figure out of packaging. Right, so here we have Luke outside of packaging. So let's take a look at the accessories first. Comes with a removable hood right there, and then compass that's closed and a compass that's open. And then this thing, I am not even sure what this is. And then uh, comes with a pair of fists, one on each hand, and then he also comes with a, a pair of relaxed hands, or yeah, one right there and the other one right there. So one thing that I really, really impressed about this figure is the head sculpt. So let's take a closer, a really close look at it. Because this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. It's one of uh, figure arts uh, finest to date. Look at that likeness. It's really, really impressive. And I'm surprised we only got one head sculpt out of this. Uh, usually with the figure arts we'll get uh, a second faceplate, second face, uh, so he could interchange, but uh, this time we only get one. But this one looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at the likeness. It's dead on Luke Skywalker right there. And uh, the paint job is really good too. Uh, even though it's uh, printed on, but... Um, even at this angle, I mean, at this uh, distance, you can't really tell. It's really, really good. Straight on, really nice. And from the back. Yeah, really good head sculpt. And uh, if you want to put the other hood on, all you need to do is uh, pop the head off and then slide this piece off and then pop that. Uh, you need to put the head inside the hood and then pop it back on. And personally, I prefer him without the hood on because uh, you can see more of his head. Uh, right now, it's a little covered up, but uh, nothing too bad. See. So, yeah. Looks okay. Uh, not a huge fan of the hood, but uh, yeah, that's his job. And as far as uh, posability for the head, he can move side to side, uh, not too much. He can move about that much, and that much, and he could look up about that much, and down about that much, because uh, there's also a joint uh, at the base of the neck. So he could look down a bit more, but uh, most of it it is hindered by the hairstyle that he has and the hood. Let's remove the hood, see if we could get a little more range. And once you remove the hood, you could definitely see he could look up way more, but you do get to see the neck joint quite a bit right here. You could definitely see it, and he could tilt his has tilt his head way more now. And as for the shoulders, you can see way, way high as far as uh, range of motion. Look at how high he could uh, raise his arm on the side there. Um, there is a ball joint uh, attached to the show, uh, to the torso. So uh, when you rotate the arm, the shoulder section a little bit, you could actually um, have it have it uh, sit inside the socket section so that's why you can raise that arm quite a bit and then as far as the elbow look at how far he could bend his elbows and as you can see here he could bend his elbow way more than 90 degrees a lot more so yeah really good range of motion so here's the figure without the cloak and uh, uh the outfit and um the jacket I guess and uh, you could clearly see he has butterfly joints too uh, I, I that was that's something I was not uh, I was uh, not aware of until now yeah wow really good yeah good range too so yeah as far as articulation really really impressive and he has a ball joint waist 
you can see great range but then uh, with the with the jacket back on uh, it's a little limited but uh, without it you can give them any type of pose you want and then as for the hips they are on a ball joint and uh, this um, skirt here it's a softer type of rubber and it has a couple of slits Oops, sorry Let's see there's one right here and then there's one right up front so it doesn't really impede with the articulation for for the hips and he has a hinge a knee which gives you gives you about 90 degrees and then he has uh, ball jointed ankles and toes articulation and here I got him doing a somewhat of a Tai Chi pose and, uh, yeah great range of motion uh, joints are nice and tight which I like unlike uh, some of the uh, Avengers uh, figures especially Cap he's got really loose uh, hip hip joints and um, this one's really tight I like it and then shoulders are nice and tight and uh, elbows as well so yeah good all around so at the end of the day uh, this figure is very impressive and uh, it's far far superior than uh, Hasbro um, Black Series but uh, you are paying quite a premium for this guy um, I think with shipping and everything I, I end up paying about 80 bucks for him a, a little more I think it was like 80 ish somewhere around there um, yeah but uh, I have to say this is a far far superior figure than the Hasbro and um, the head sculpt is just absolutely amazing so overall I do recommend this figure but uh, yeah it is expensive so yeah so let me give you guys one last look at this figure and you can see those eyes it does look a bit sad but uh, still and look at those sculpting on that uh, vest or oh, uh, looks like a sweater a hooded sweater Really nice uh, sculpting kind of thing. And look at those hands. They are really, really good. And I just realized I never did show the back side of this uh, figure. So here it is. And one last look. Zoom out a little bit. So yeah, there you have it. Luke Skywalker from The Last Jedi by SH Figure Arts. Thanks for watching.